Hi everyone, I'm Teresa, the teacher. This video will be English only and it's intended for advanced learners of English or even native speakers who want to learn to identify mushrooms correctly. Disclaimer, after watching this video, you will not be an expert. One video does not make you an expert on anything. So if you want to know how to identify mushrooms and eat them safely, you need more than this video. You need a real expert who will tell you if a specific mushroom that you found is safe to eat or not. This will give you the basics, but it does not give you permission to go into a forest and eat stuff and possibly die because you haven't got all the info that you need. This is the basics, okay? So please, some mushrooms can be very dangerous. Some of them can be difficult to identify. Stay safe. So without further ado, when trying to identify mushrooms, one must know what to call the different parts of the mushroom. So on the left, you have a death cap and the parts of the death cap are called a cap. Then on the other side, underside of the cap, you've got gills, gills. Then there's a stem, a stem, which has got a ring, a ring, and a vulva, a vulva. Not all mushrooms have all of these parts. They usually have a cap or, and a stem. But as you can see on the right, uh, there's a Belitis mushroom, which only has a cap and a stem. And instead of gills, it's got tubes. Most mushrooms will have gills. Some of them, especially those from the Belitis group, will have tubes instead of gills. And some mushrooms are just really weird and they don't have either, they just have pores. Or pores for Americans, just, yeah. You know. So let's start with the pretty red one, shall we? This beautiful one that I'm sure you've seen many times, it's called a fly agaric. The fly is there because it used to be used to poison flies. Um, the cap is red, it's got white spots. The stem is beautiful, tall and white. It's got a ring and there's also a vulva, which you can't currently see because it's underground. You very often can't see a vulva unless you dig around a bit and you know see the whole mushroom they are usually hidden underground so uh the fly agaric is dangerous it usually doesn't kill people although there have been exceptions don't eat it mostly it just makes people feel very sick it's hallucinogenic it's really toxic you don't want to risk any of this so don't touch the pretty red ones Okay, next one. This is one that Czech people are very um, keen on finding. It's called a Belitis, Belitis or a Belit, Belit. And there are many species of Belits. So um, usually you want the beautiful ones with a dark uh, brown cap, nice yellow tubes, beautiful um, brownish or beige stem. But there are also kinds of beliefs uh, that are not good to eat. So some of the best ones can be the pine belit, the bay belit, or the sep. But there are also other kinds. Uh, for example, if you can't find one of the beautiful kinds of beliefs that last pretty long and you know, taste, taste very good, you can often find at least red cracking beliefs. Uh, these are more mediocre when it comes to quality, but the young ones still taste pretty good. And um, one of the main advantages is that if there are red cracking beliefs in a forest, there will be a lot of red cracking beliefs in the forest. So the quantity will be nice. The quality might not be excellent, especially for the, the older specimens. There'll be a lot of insects in them or on them. Uh, they can get slimy very quickly and they go moldy very quickly. But if you get the young ones before the caps start to crack, those should be fine. Those should be very good. 
Now, this is a kind of belief that Czech people really dislike. It's called the bitter belief. And it's called that for a reason. It tastes bitter and really disgusting. And just one of these can ruin your whole meal. So even if all the other mushrooms there are delicious, this one will destroy the whole thing. So um, how can you tell? Uh, well, it usually looks pretty good. It's bitter for a reason to you know, make all the insects and other parasites go away. So it's less damaged very often than the other beliefs, which aren't that bitter. And um, the tubes have got this very pale sort of pinkish color. It's like beige, but grayish and pinkish at the same time. And that's a warning sign that it's probably a bitter bullet. Um, my father, for example, when he's not 100% sure what kind of bullet is found in a forest, he just takes a little bit off and he eats it. And if it's disgusting, he's not going to pick that mushroom because it's a bitter bullet. I'm not sure if this is a very good strategy because uh, all bullets are slightly toxic when raw, but he hasn't died yet. So I know some Czech people just taste them. Um, usually if it looks a bit pink, the underside of the cap, just don't eat it. It's a bit of a lit. Uh, this one, on the other hand, is very easily identifiable, very pretty, incredibly big. So just a few of these can make one meal. Uh, it's called a parasol. In British English, the oh, oh, oh sound exists, and it does not in American English. It's replaced by either o, like here, or ah, which is not in this word. So a parasol mushroom is very large. Uh, it's got a very tall stem with a ring, the sort of um, stripes on the stem, and the cap is very large and it's got beige or brown scales and on the other side underside there are gills uh, when it's very young it looks like a drumstick because the cap hasn't you know um opened yet and Czech people love these especially since they are very good in stir fries very big and also you can prepare the caps the same way you prepare meat when cooking schnitzel so you can just um fry them and they taste awesome. So parasol schnitzel is a very good thing to eat. The death cap, on the other hand, is not a mushroom that you should be eating. Uh, as the name says, the Czech name doesn't say anything about death, but it does say that it's green, which is also helpful. It usually is olive green. Uh, so the cap is green or white. So be careful about white mushrooms. There are many very dangerous white mushrooms. And um, there should be a ring on the stem and a volva on the ground. Um, this is the kind of mushroom that kills the most Czech people who are bad at identifying mushrooms. So usually it just destroys you. Um, some people have survived uh, eating these, but uh, they have lifelong consequences, usually the first thing it destroys are the kidneys, so the people might need dialysis for the rest of their life, which is not a life I'd want, so stay away from death caps. Uh, this one is a relative of both the death cap and uh, the fly agaric, the pretty red one. You can see that it looks similar, it's got um, white spots on the cap, it's got gills, it's got a ring, but unlike some other more dangerous mushrooms. This one does not have a vulva and it's supposed to be delicious and safe to eat. However, it's very, uh, sometimes when you don't know what you're doing, you might pick another mushroom, which looks very similar, the panther cap, and that one's very dangerous. So this one's a safe one. It's called a blusher and um, it's called a blusher because if you hurt the mushroom, the part that you've heard um, goes a pink color. So pinkish brown, kind of like red. Um, so yeah, and no vulva. This one, on the other hand, looks very similar. Look, uh, it's called a panther cap uh, and it's basically as almost as dangerous as the death cap. So very toxic. 
you can tell them apart because this one does not have a vulva and if you hurt it uh, that part goes pink and this one does have a vulva but it's hidden so be careful and it does not go pink when hurt also this one has pretty noticeable ridges along the edges of the cap while this one does not have any ridges on the cap the I've never eaten a blusher because I feel apprehensive. You know, I, I, I know theoretically how to tell them apart, but I'm not going to try. This is a morel. Uh, those are very interesting in some cuisines. For example, the French cuisine uses some morels. Morels are very difficult to farm. So um, usually you actually need to find them in a forest, which makes them very expensive to buy. They are supposed to be safe and delicious, but I know that when raw or badly cooked, they are still toxic. So the advice is boil them in water, then throw all of the water away and then continue cooking them uh, however you want, and then they should be safe. So morels, as you can see, they look very weird. So usually you, will, you won't mistake other mushrooms for morels. The, the shape is just very different. This is a stink horn. A stink horn stinks. <laughs> when it's young, it looks like an egg. And when it's older, um, it tries to att attract flies by uh, smelling like rotting meat. So the flies smell rotting meat. They crawl over this disgusting greenish mushroom and the spores get stuck to the flies and then the flies fly away and the spores um, get to another part of the forest, for example. Uh, it's supposed to taste good when it's very, very young, but usually you find it when it's old and smells disgusting and don't eat them. Uh, this one's called a lawyer's wig. It's got many more names. For example, shaggy ink cap is the one that I've heard frequently. So lawyer's wig or uh, shaggy ink cap. Uh, again, they're supposed to taste good when they're very young, but when they mature, they uh, start to dissolve. Uh, the edges start to turn into this weird ink and the whole cap turns into liquid very slowly. And by that point, when they are already starting to dissolve, they don't taste good anymore. I don't know anyone who eats those, but they are supposed to be edible when young. And, um, to finish it off, this is a British English chanterelle, chanterelle, or American English chanterelle, chanterelle. They are this um, beautiful orange or golden color. Uh, they don't actually have gills. These are just ridges on the stem. So they look a bit weird. You can uh, buy them in markets or in shops sometimes, dried or frozen, and they taste very good. They are very nice mushrooms. So this was your mushroom identification video. Tell me in the comments, which of these mushrooms is your favorite? Which of these mushrooms you've already seen or heard of? Which ones you liked? Which ones you've tasted, for example? Not the death cap, please. And, um, if you'd like more content in English only, you can subscribe, like this video. Um, you can tell me in the comments if there is a topic that you would find useful, helpful, interesting to learn about. And I hope this video wasn't too long-winded for you. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you very much and see you next time.